Hi everyone, this is the storyboard presentation from MSBA students of Paul Mirage Business School. Uh, in this capstone project, we are working with build.com, which is a fintech company based out in San Jose. So this is my team with which I'm working from left to right. It is myself, Ekagrigalav, then Evan, Alekhya, Janel, and Yuting. So the overview of the project, uh, how we are taking on this project is basically like we have divided it into seven segments, uh, seven chapters, basically we can say, and like then we have a few subheadings, sub chapters uh, under every section of it. So uh, currently we are in the middle of our project where we are working on phase three and phase four. So just to give a brief idea about like what all chapter consists, I would like to start with the introduction, like where we had few initial calls with our clients, where they introduce what exactly does build.com do, what are they expecting from us, what kind of a data set they have. Then we moved on to purpose of the project uh, and we deep dived with, the, with them uh, towards the data and like what is the exactly uh, what is the exact task of the clients from us, what uh, we should do to give the best insights or the best deliverables to them. Uh, then to like once we started collecting all the things and we mapped the data well, then we created a project plan, how to take on the project and like how to divide it into multiple phases to get to our final deliverable in the desired time. So basically we split it into four main phases or main sections where we started with our initial analysis and we did some exploratory data analysis. We chose a few industries on which specifically we wanted to work. And from there we pulled out few insights and like from where we started getting a picture of what exactly is done and like how to take it forward to like give a better results. Then in phase two, we used some uh, feature engineering where we did k-means clustering. We are collecting extrogeneous variables uh, to use them in phase three and like uh, what can be the insights from those k-means clustering and extrogeneous variables. So in phase three, we are using different uh, techniques like linear regression, moving average, exponential smoothing, serimax, uh, dynamic regression to uh, get a, to get, come up with a good for time series forecasting technique and which came which had a least map so that uh, we could have a good model and like better forecasting results in phase four we are planning to work with a graph visualization so where we can show like the uh, relation between the senders and the receivers and uh, like what kind of a transaction amounts they are using and like how is everything being processed? So like these are very good visualizations. Let's hope we are done with it on time and we have some good results. So to start with, uh, this is the main purpose of our project where we are developing a 12 month forecasting uh, using different machine learning, programming and maths techniques. So these are the two uh, next six code that we have selected. One is in, with the semiconductor manufacturing and another one is the insurance agencies and brokerage. So basically next six code is a, is a code of a particular industry or a particular segment of the industry. And then there is a generalized version of it, which is the next two code. So I'll tell you about next next two code as well. In the initial uh, analysis, what we did was explanatory data analysis, where we created a tableau dashboard to uh, to read the data of a particular industry. So which helped us to get the overview of like which industry we wanted to work with. Uh, so yeah, this is the next two industries. So basically we were working with semiconductor manufacturing. So how is it performing with the whole industry in general? So, and uh, on the other side, it is for the insurance agencies. So like, as we got it, uh, as we found out, like semiconductor is doing well, whereas insurance is not doing pretty well. So in the feature engineering, we did some K-means clustering and we collected some extrogeneous variables. So this clustering is on the basis of recurring transactions. Then these are the very extrogenous variables which we collected for our dynamic regression, which includes GDP, inflation rate, and employment, and number of working days. Then these are few results that uh, we have already implemented few time series forecasting, the seasonality effect of it. Uh, till now, like Sedimex gives us the best result, but we are also working on the other uh, uh, techniques like uh, XGBoost and LSTM. And this is a quick glance of the graph visualization that we are planning to do and we are working on it. 
then like these are the recommendations that we made uh, so like they should invest more in semiconductor and and for uh, insurance they should hold on it and let's hope we are we come up with better recommendations in uh, coming days thank you